Hi Lana, hello and welcome once again uh, to Lana's Coach. So today we are going to look at how to start a cyber security career in Kenya. And as you can see, I've already opened the Lana's Coach uh, website that is going to help us uh, maybe have a look at the very important uh, things that you need to have, right, before engaging in this particular uh, career. As you are aware, this is a very lucrative uh, career and is very marketable, right? Uh, this is due to the ever-changing, uh, maybe technological environment uh, that we have nowadays. Uh, things are uh, being uh, placed online. We have the Internet of Things and so on. And these are prone to attacks, right? So you need to have some skills so that at least you can narrow the gap or the challenges that many organizations face uh, within this particular cyberspace. So just click within the link. I've shared this particular website, right? So let's maybe have a look at the essential uh, things that you need to factor in. So I'll just go through because this is uh, an article that I personally wrote. So I just, I'm just trying to bring everything uh, into the video context, right? So number one, important steps to start a career in cyber security. Now, if you want to be a good cyber security guru, you are required to have a bachelor's degree in computer science. Uh, normally, most students normally come for some kind of uh, career guidance on this particular field. And I always tell them that uh, it's not really a good idea uh, just to start uh, maybe pursuing cyber security career uh, from scratch. At least you need to have other uh, points or anchor uh, careers such as the computer science, right? Or software engineering, then you can always have uh, cyber security as part and parcel of this uh, degree. So yes, uh, one thing is uh, that you need to have a degree in computer science. Very, very essential. You need also to have some basics and uh, knowledge in firewalls, right, and endpoint, uh, endpoint security. And of course, you need to have some programming skills. That's why I say that software engineering uh, skills are very essential, right? At least you can be able to uh, create some programs in C++, Java, uh, Python. All these are going to be uh, added advantage, right? So again, I retaliate my first point. You need to have some additional skills, like networking skills, uh, software development skills, right? Before you really start uh, positioning yourself uh, to start this particular cyber security career, right? And of course, you need to have an eye that is keen to actually approach details. Uh, and of course, you need to have our, our outstanding problem-solving skills, right? And of course, in this particular field, since I've said that uh, it handles a lot of emerging uh, challenges, right? It's especially within the uh, internet area where people can always uh, do some online banking. So you need to arm yourself with the up-to-date knowledge of the latest cybersecurity trends and hacker tricks, right? So then it begs the question, is cybersecurity right for you? So let's maybe look at the questions that you need to factor in so that we understand whether this particular cybersecurity career is best for you. Because not every person uh, is expected uh, to pursue this particular career. So first, you, you have to ask yourself, do you have any certifications related to the cyber security field, right? At least you need to have some uh, certifications. So you can pro, uh, maybe proceed to uh, these online platforms like Coursera. You can go to the ADX. They are going to give you some free yeah, certificate, uh, certificates after going through some basics in cyber security. And of course, you need to ask yourself, how do you get started in cybersecurity? We are going to already have already seen how to get started. What are the skills that you need, right? How do you or how will you get the experience, right? Uh, you also need to ask yourself, is there a lot of traveling? Uh, is there some internship and opportunities available, uh, maybe in your country or area that you are doing this particular course, right? And maybe what are the available career advancement opportunities that are going to be presented, right? So as a matter of fact, also you need to uh, get to understand 
uh, the required skills when you're pursuing uh, this particular career right uh, when you maybe have the right job what are some of the skills that you will be expected to have you need to be a problem solver you need to have a technical aptitude you need to pay attention to details and of course you need to have some very i can say this a very uh, nice desire <laughs> to learn you should not be forced you should be someone who just is keen to learn you need to have understanding of working right you need to make some decisions you need to know how to secure different platforms right of course you need to have the confidence and show initiative and most importantly you need to be creative right and think outside the box should you be confronted with a particular uh, challenge because you never know when the hacker is going to spring into action so you need to really uh, be up to the task right so those are some of the skills that uh, you need to check uh, of course, we have the main benefit of career of actually pursuing the career in cyber security, especially if you are in this particular country of ours. Uh, there are wide opportunities. Many people haven't really uh, placed themselves in this particular career. So I think it's the opportune time uh, for you to see how you can uh, align yourself uh, to this particular uh, career. Now. Of course, you'll be responsible for protecting companies' information data from attacks, right? If you go through uh, the syllabus of cybersecurity, you're going to uh, go or you're going to be an, uh, taken through the nine elements of cybersecurity. Uh, you're going to tackle information security, network security, uh, talk about business continuity plan and user training and also all that. So those particular skills, you are, you are expected to protect organizations' information, uh, data from viruses, or what I refer to as software-based attacks, right, that are actually uh, developed by these particular uh, hackers. So additional benefits is that, uh, of course, there is an opportunity to de develop new careers, you can always also self-employ yourself, right? We have very many companies uh, overseas that you can always work for remotely, for instance, right? You can manage or rather protect their hardware, protect their software, their applications, their networks from a remote uh, location and you'll get paid, right? So you don't need, really need to look uh, uh, for the job around your country. You can always apply for jobs uh, abroad. So after you've earned the right skills and maybe you've graduated, what are some of the uh, career uh, options that you can always find yourself, right? Or the common roles in cybersecurity. So you can be a security architect, right? That is one angle of cybersecurity whereby you'll be designing, building, and managing networks and computer security for a company. You can also be a cryptographer, right? So ensuring that the information that is sent uh, across these multiple channels, uh, if they are sensitive, they are actually, or they remain uh, private so that someone cannot really uh, tamper with them, right? You can also be a security trainer. You can train employees in security practices. You can also be a network security engineer, right? You can also work as a penetration tester. Yeah, those are people paid to legally hack into software systems. And of course, you can ha be a cloud security engineer, right? So there are a lot of opportunities within this particular career. Yeah, you can also be application security specialist, right? You can also be cyber security generalist. And of course, you can also be a cyber security engineer who develops, designs, and implements networks. You can also align yourself with the identity and access management, right? You can also perform some forensic analysis. And of course, you can be 
uh, response analyst to various disasters and incidences. So yes, Lana, I believe I've taken you through uh, all these particular very crucial uh, things or steps that you need to have uh, before really embarking on enrolling for the cyber security course or pursuing this particular uh, cyber security career. All in all, it's a very lu uh, uh, lucrative career, marketable one. Uh, if you have the desire to learn, as you have already seen, uh, kindly uh, proceed and enroll for this particular course. There are various universities that are offering this particular uh, course, right? So should you find this particular information uh, useful, as always, right? Uh, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell uh, so that